right, good morning. Day two. I'm out on the grind. The depository unit failed, but uh, I got it to work. But for some reason, it looks like there's some issue with either software or the, maybe the unit does have a bad sensor. So I'm gonna just go ahead and swap out the unit with one that I have in the back. So I'll show a little bit of that today. So uh, that one might take me a little longer. I might have to do that job all day because anytime I replace parts, I often have to reload software too. So, anyway, we got a full day ahead, so I'll take you guys on my journey. Friends, the rest is what it is. This shit is blessings, dog. Everything that you hate, they got in your way. That shit was lessons, dog. There's gonna be pain, but you'll be okay. Good spinning on a blue marble, man. That's blessings enough. But it's hard to know who you can trust when the snakes and the roaches do the same when they dressed up. Hey, I never claimed to be a saint. I envision what I'm living and let the universe paint. Like, wait. Let me say it while I'm here. If I focus on my blessings and problems, they disappear. So, okay, it says uh, SDM, that's the depository unit, scalable deposit module, main transport jam. So I'm gonna get the bolt open and we're gonna get in there and see what we can find. Uh, see, SDM, it means scalable deposit module. The reason it's called scalable is because it takes checks and cash. In the old days, ATMs had to have a separate uh, deposit or what they used to do was make you put the deposit in an envelope, whether it was check or cash, and then the envelope is what you put in. But now, with modern technology, now you can deposit cash and check uh, without an envelope because there's a device in here that scans it and puts it in the system. So that's pretty cool stuff, guys. Anyway, I'm going to open this guy up, see what's going on, and uh, we'll get in deep. We got her open. The vault. Now let's see what's going on with this bad boy. See, if you, if you look here, they call that the indicator light. That's letting me know that there's something wrong with this module. Let's see if it'll turn green. When you rack it out and rack it in, sometimes it fixes the problem. But you hear it running? Nope. That didn't do anything, so we still have a problem. So now I'm gonna rack it out and try to see where my problem is. Oh, well looky here. Yesterday when I was here, this was the problem. Now today, this is the problem. Why? I wanna know where that is. Oh, look at that, we got a, we got a check that's stuck in there. So, I think we're dealing with something where communications is being lost to this module. So, uh, but in order for me to prove this theory, I need to replace this whole unit. And then if the problem comes back in, then that will for sure validate that my issue is software. So I've been, I've been dealing with this machine for about a month now. And every time I would clear the fault, it would come back in a different place. Sometimes the fault will be here. Sometimes the fault will be here. Sometimes the fault is here. See, there's an LED light at every location where there could be a jam. See? So watch. So if I open this, those lights come on. If I open this, that light comes on. Right? If I open this, that light comes on. If I open down here, the light comes on. So every every part of this module tells you, and they're not, they're lettered. So this module has different components. If you notice, every component or aspect has an indicator light to tell you where the issue could be. But the problem with this is that this issue is moving from location to location every time I come here. It's never the same spot. So that tells me that we're dealing with a communications issue to the device, either because the software is bad or legitimately this device, which has a control board here, is probably bad. Okay, so uh, I have a new one of these transport modules. This is called the, tra the core transport. Not this, not this, just this piece here. It's called the core. I have another one in that box. We're gonna go ahead and get it out and uh, try to swap it out and see if we could get this problem to go away. So I'll show you a little bit of that.
They ask me what's the matter, I say nothing at all Been spending too much time with posters stuck to my wall Superstars ain't got no problems Superstars don't have bad days Superstars get superstardom Well I get high to get through my day They ask me how I'm doing I say not bad at all My name ain't on the marquee But the show was the bomb Superstars ain't got no problems Superstars don't have bad days All you mechanics out there or people who do technical work You of all people will know what a hell of a time it is to lose one of these things. These little clips, you don't wanna lose that. So you always wanna be extremely careful. That's why I had to turn off the camera to get it off because I had to use one of these on one hand and then take my fingers on the next hand and hold it so that it didn't go flying off somewhere. Because when you lose that, oh my God, it's a pain. And then you gotta come up with all kinds of ways with pieces of wire to rig up all of this. So anyway, one down, got two more to go. Hollywood will never change yeah. They ask me how I'm doing I say not bad at all I've never been on TV But I do a good job Superstars ain't got no problems Superstars don't have bad days Superstars are been awesome What I do for them to know my name all I want is checks and full the debts to go away So I can tell that bill collector get up my place Want a good life for my daughter, want my family okay Want to feel it while I'm living to make dying worth the wait Cause superstars don't get forgotten Superstars don't fade away Superstars look good in coffins and These little bearings, I to make sure not to lose that You don't want to lose any parts because you, you don't put this back right This goes in here well, we got it on the ground. I have to disassemble this piece. I have to disassemble this piece and transfer it to that piece. So. Break my back for a little money. Lose myself for a little fame. People get rich, start acting funny But I know I would never change I don't want fans who say they love me And people I hate to know my name People get rich, start acting funny I swear to God I'd stay the same All my life I prayed for it Let me get any doors I don't know nobody for I swear my life I made for it Yes, say they knew me before, they don't know me anymore Like all my life I pray, dear God, take me out of this place All my life I'll be the one, Hollywood will never change yeah. I'm gonna tell you, it was a to put this on, but I gotta get these screws on and stabilize it Cause even if the plane gon' crash, I'ma be in first class I'ma have a good time with this And even if the boat won't float and we all gon' sink I'll enjoy trying to learn to swim And even if it's all for nothing, we were on to something There's a lot of fights we can't win And even if we fall and drum it, dust it off Get up and we can try to do it all again Even if I'm up against the odds, I don't give it Even when it's me against the world, I ain't tripping Even if the All right, uh, this rebuncher is the thing that collects the money when it comes in and bunches it up. I forgot to take it from that one and transfer it here. So I just transfer it. The wire is over here. There's a little plug that came for it. Boom, we're in. I got a, these little thumb screws in here. I'll get that done now and 
than we should be. Falling, drop it, dust it off, get up, and we can try to do it all again. There's not a lot of ways to win, but I'm fighting. Every now and again you run into a problem. I gotta figure out how this yellow piece goes back in here. So I gotta go look for a diagram. I'll be right back. So, if you saw from my last video, I was having a hard time trying to figure out how this went in here. And so I came in here to try and pull up my ma manual. But then I started asking myself, like, how did this thing work? And so I just kind of played around with it until I got it to snap in here. Uh, and went inside of this uh, thing here. See the belt finally is where it needs to be, and uh, so far so good. So now we're gonna go mount it up. Uh, we should have this infield mod. This is the infield mod. Infield module. This is where the customer puts the cash and check in. So, in case you were wondering what this unit is. So, I was trying to figure out how this went back in, and uh, now we're all again. Bad days, there was lots in my way But even when I lose, I win Cause when I go and make those mistakes And I learn I'm okay, yeah Even when the world is grim So go ahead and get in my way Better get in my face, yeah Engineers, so the way they designed it Is so that I turn this clip down Tighten the screw and we're in And I gotta do the same on this side Do that there Plug this plug in here I got the infeed mark. That's it. I'm gonna tighten her up and uh, we'll see how it works. And even if we fall and climb it, dust it off, get up and we can try to do it all again. Right, uh, got all my cabling in. Ready to go, double check that, make sure everything ready to clip. Communication cable, I got my data cable. Oh, and actually, this is data, this is communication to the board to the uh, USB. All right, so far, so good. Wish me luck. All right, I powered on the ATM. I gotta wait for it to cycle. That's the one I took off. So, let's see if the problem is there. If this doesn't fix the problem, then my only other solution is to reload software. Which is another two to three hours. So far, so good. Uh, usually when I replace parts, I have to reload software, but I might get lucky because uh, it, it lit up green, which means it recognized the device. Uh, I got the old one back in the box. I'm getting ready to put it back in the van. But um, I tell you guys, man, this is a tough thing to do by yourself, especially if I'm trying to record it for you guys to see what I go through. I didn't get to record a lot of stuff for you guys, but there's a lot more work and tail that goes into replacing one of these units and transferring of parts. So I may have to consider getting something like a GoPro. So that's probably what I'll do next. Um, and I hope you enjoyed uh, the video and I'll try to make more content like this. If this is an interest to you, uh, you can get to see what the world of a technician is like. If you have a, a mind that likes to figure out stuff and do uh, technical stuff with your hands or uh, your mind, uh, this could be a good type of job for you. But uh, keep in mind that you will have to work the odd hours because uh, some contracts require you to be available 24 by 7. And that has to be something you consider. Uh, if you're a young person just getting started in the world, this is a great job for you. But uh, it's a great starter job for anybody out there. You don't need a, a big degree. You could just have some certification courses or any previous experience in any technical field, engineering, uh, computers, automotive, whatever. Any technical background could get into the uh, technician field. And you can work anywhere from ATMs to uh, self-checkouts at the supermarket to PCs or point of sale interfaces at stores, retail stores. The list is endless. Technicians are always needed. So it's a great industry to get in and a great market to get into. And uh, it doesn't take much to get started. Yeah, you may have to get paid crap the first six months to a year, but how fast you move up is dependent on your skill set, your ability to learn, and your willingness to keep progressing forward and pushing forward. And you could earn pretty good money in this industry if you keep it up. So you kind of have to keep a trajectory. Also, what even if you start somewhere at a lower income or a lower rate, that's okay because you're building your experience and this is gonna help you launch yourself into the next company. And the next thing is you don't need to show any 
fancy degrees or certificates. You just need to show that you're capable, willing to learn, and then you answer their questions. And uh, they might give you a couple tests to do. So a lot of these companies, they give you a website to go to and you fill out a little test. And these tests, you can take your time or try to go on YouTube and watch a few videos. Anyway, all these are little tips and tricks you could learn after the while to get these jobs. And it, tech jobs are the best because you can work around them and, and mix, it can fuse into your lifestyle. And uh, anyway, that's my two sets. I've been in the industry for, uh, for about 12 years, 12 or 13. And uh, I've always kept pushing forward in jobs that are in that area. In, in different fields. I've worked in a variety of different fields. So I can share whatever knowledge or, or ideas or, or tips that I've learned over the years that helped me succeed or fail in, along the way. So both are important. All right, folks, I hope you enjoyed my content. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Uh, looks good so far. I guess, I guess that's a good sign. Go ahead and um, that's a good sign. I don't see that big check mark, that means we're in service. So.